Welcome back, you guys, to Alan Wake. I'm your host, TDS Jolly. Uh, link in the description for previous part and playlist. And we're about to have some major spoilers because we just finished chapter one in the last one. So go check that out. And then uh, three, two, one, spoilers. Woo! He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh. Yeah, sorry about he that. Just disappeared? What yeah. the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Oh, no. And all of these manuscript Saga pages were Cold stolen. Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Oh, lovely. Uh. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. Hmm. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Yay, I don't have to seem crazy. Uh... The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. Hmm. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Oh, healing supplies. But, oh, there is stuff in there. You gotta use the cursor to find it. Lovely. Must be locked from the other side. Okay. I'll just go screw myself. Let's go. Oh wait, actually, let's let's review the case board. I the dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Huh. Oh, it wasn't for later. Taken. Dyden Gales are taken. And the overlap. I had to pursue him into the overlap. Oh, and then that's, uh. The autopsy room was a mess, like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her under the light, lurched past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them, hurt the darkness in them, made them vulnerable. I flick the switch, it goes click. Show me the clicker, lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch. Get out of my house, Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest, but here he was, killing. A monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. Huh. Right. What else do we have here? Right, we have other cases to work on. Uh... The previous murders. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. <laughs> All right, what about the... the Casey lunch boxes? <laughs> Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another Surely message? not. Uh, 
All right. Uh Right. Cauldron Lake area. One. We found two of them. At least so far. Okay. Call to the tree. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Right, I found a bunch already. That's not right. Okay, what kind of cult? Rituals. No. Cult symbols. <laughs> Deer mask. Cult psychology. Who's involved? What goal? Well, writing part of the ritual. Think, Saga. Well, he's involved. He did it. <sighs> hmm. Maybe he's the goal. To kill that. Or is it to make them? Hmm. More questions than answers. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. And where are we headed? This way. <gasps> we, yeah. we heard gunshots. Y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. Thank you for just blindly trusting me. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. They didn't see it, though. Well, yeah, right. Well, that's all crazy talk. Oh, no. Monsters we gotta get out of here. And... What do you mean? The, the sheriff disappeared. Like, poof? He's gone? Casey, Magic? let's go. Magic's not real. Casey, come on. No, Thorne. Monsters aren't real, and magic's definitely Casey, not real. damn it. What are you doing? Don't fix your tie in front of them. Just... In their eyes, we might have committed murder. We gotta go. They're a fine pair. Hello? Oh dear. I am a tourist. And it appears that I'm lost in the woods. You've only had a tour guide also. Bear season. <laughs> oh, oh my god, a bear! bear. <laughs> Looks like a cat. Cat's eyes. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh <laughs> wow. Coscola Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. Oh Coscola. my god. I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why, at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, Fuck the government! <laughs> we have bolt cutters. Oh, wow. We have bolt cutters. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere! 
Breaking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Breaking and entering is our specialty. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. <laughs> the tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner coffee thermos. Hey. That's cool. <laughs> and beyond stupid, I love it. You're not watching anything suspicious over here, are you? Oh, he's, he's hard at work, actually. Wow. Nice. Don't mind me, I'm just opening that. Because reasons. Is there anything My different with the computer? Held here long enough. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. Ooh. Well, what's up with that? It won't open. Use the bolt cutters, Luke. How many times do we have to do this, Walter? Huh? I'm at my wits end with you. What did he do? I want out! Something bad's going down! I can feel it! Oh, we let should let him out. out. Oh no. Something's gonna happen to this you man. Think I I'm like sorry. You in jail every other day. No, I don't. Do you have any idea how much paperwork you're causing me? That's <laughs> a lot. Man, what is he doing robbing folks at night? Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, Agent Casey here. Yeah. We oh, where are you going? Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. He's running. Casey. Stop him. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. Valhalla Nursing Home. Oh. Bless her. That's not good. What does that mean, then? She's dead. How can she be a sponsor? Yo, open up. 
I see you smoking there. Get back to work. All right. Back to the car we go. <laughs> okay, I found a new the town, Anderson. Just getting my bearings. Ready to go? Waiting on you. All right, let's go. Uh, rinse and repeat. Clock out. Get a beer. Aww. Maybe three. Damn. Hate to see it. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha <laughs> ha. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Okay, we're back here. Return to the heart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To oh, see the clues. We already read this. To solve the case. All right, let's get down there. So I So I guess you can just come back to this location. I've been thinking more Maybe about the cult of the whenever. tree. Whenever. I don't know. What sort of cult? refers to themselves as a cult. In my experience, Ooh. they don't. We're not seeing hey, the full picture hello yet. Hello there! How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing, huh? Hello. Saga Hi. Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet <gasps> you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I oh. bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Oh, Speaking okay. of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's sauna, sauna da vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. That are all you illegal. It, we probably got it. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The For Federal what? Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity <gasps> and air toxicity levels. 
No need to worry though. Oh it's no. It's mostly for research purposes. That one gorgeous weather Oh saga. no. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. Oh dear god. Not the Federal Bureau of Control. I know what that is. Steven, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But Ooh. I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. Oh, I'm no. just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. <gasps> can not run right through a garbage can. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, huh? Finland. Ulla, Karjalanpiir. <laughs> Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Aww. Okay, we're done for now. Yes, we are. Now, what the hell is all this? Oh. Clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours? Uh-oh. I fixed it, so any alerts will come our way. But it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigations department. Leaving this scene in case... Uh, wait, leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix these things. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may want to put more secure metal casing around the whole thing so that the <laughs> raccoons can't get to it anymore. Okay, so... There's something different here. Something very wrong. Okay, is this still uh, the same? Yes. Yes, it is. Hello, dog. The cutest face. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. Hi there. You get some pets. Yeah. Oh. Accidentally hit my headphones with the door. Yeah, very adorable dog. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? We need to take or them all. Protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know what. Not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Uh-oh. Our crime scene's drowning. I never minded the rain. Feels like cold. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake, in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. This does not bode well for us. If the Federal Bureau of Control is here, We've we are screwed. Before. Hmm. Good eye. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. Why? They why did you say to that? Involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. Hmm. How do we find Nightingale? What then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. 
That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Hmm. Ew. Oh. Okay. What about here? Bare feet. Demons. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. I Andy like how. Comes up, I'll radio you. I really like how she doesn't flag him with the gun. It's a nice little touch. And what the hell is over here? A locked box. I don't care. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? It is. Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Confused? Follow the steps. Wash hand. Wash hands, take chicken out of the fridge, take a nap. Wash hands. Where's the sink? One, two, three. Wash hands, fridge. Wash hands. What was that sound? Rest easy, buddy. Wash hands. Take something out the fridge, then sleep. So we go to the fridge. Whoa. Wash hands. Is there a bathroom? Where is the bathroom? Okay. That symbol. Does it save what we do here? Or do we have to do this all at once? Wait, wash hands was... Okay, what the hell? Wash hands, fridge, and nap. I don't think that's an option. Ugh, annoying. I'm getting flashbacks. Remember Ohio? Sure. Not the Ohio. The side slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. Oh. Did you find a body? Okay, what do we have here? Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera. Something formed by an erupting volcano. Or the sinkholes it leaves it in its wake. Okay. What if it's something else? Something less natural and more man-made? Intentional? Oh, I say the lake's not formed, it's designed, and it has a purpose. Oh, he knows too much. First drawing, water line. And then the real caldera is made from a volcano, lava. Water line, engineered structure, strange machines? Huh. We're gonna get to learn more about the lake. Hey, Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the A triangle. I don't get it. Stop. Yes, you do. Hmm. 
Hmm. Then this. Yay, finally. Ammo. Finally. Like they're tools of the trade. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. I am one of the trees. I am the trees. Point of interest. Ooh. Take me there. To the point of interest. I want to go. Let me go. Oh, uh, wait, where am I going? Let's go this way up to it. Right? Is it? Yeah, it is. What do we have here? Let's go in here now. Bed. Sorry about that pop. What else do we have here? Locked. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, what's this? Chips. Okay. What do we have here? Some suspicious activity spotted. Uh, footprints around the area were found. Train the fielder. Hunters out after dark. Poachers? Heard some gunshots. Not one of ours. Gotta keep an eye on those people. Hmm. Hey, uh, Logan's birthday is coming up. Yeah? I, I need toy ideas. Toys? <laughs> She's 14, KC. Okay. So, what do I get her? Get her a book. Something weird and dark. Maybe that'll get her back into reading. <laughs> Alright. Something else that's in here. Really? What else is there? Something to my right. Oh, what is it? Something in the corner. Hmm. Weird. Well, what could be here then? Is there something else in here? Apparently. Hmm. I'm missing something. Okay. I'm gonna move on. Screw it. Yeah, we need to move on. I don't know where we're going. Where the hell is Casey? wander into the forest randomly. What could go wrong? Maybe I should call David. See how Logan's doing. They're fine, Anderson. What's got you so worried? I just feel bad being gone so long. I've never taken a case this far from them. Ah, they can manage without you for a few days.
Hmm. Anything in here this time? No. Okay. All right. Uh Where are we going? The tracks lead into the water. Where do you go from here? Oh, oh. I can feel Come on. The presence. Why? Nightingale isn't far. Why? Why did it have to do that? Okay, so... Oh, this is from before. It's all flooding. Oh. Oh. What is that? It seems like it's reacting to the light. Yeah, let's touch it. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. Ooh. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. Well, hello the there. The was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. All right. Place to go. Witch's hut. This is right up here. Uh... I need to not get carried away here, I'm afraid, here. Uh... I suspect some BS is about to happen. Okay. Up this way. Okay. Stuff is moving. This is the witch's hut. The page described the hut being lit and mentioned a fuse. A fuse. around the back or like what? Anderson, thought I saw something in the woods. Uh we just a deer. I'm gonna check it out. No, okay. don't. Don't I do found it. Another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. The fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. Okay. Tell me what you know. I know you know something. Uh, did I trap myself here? Oh no. Move, move chair. Move. So, where is this fuse? Oh, I just used that. Oops. Oh, 
I can't use that. Uh, Where's the fuse? Huh. What am I looking for? Where could it be? Whoa, how did I do that? That was amazing. All right, you guys. I'm gonna end this one here. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe for more daily videos, walkthroughs just like this one. And also comment. I love hearing what you guys have to say. All right, have a good one.